Hi submarine friends. So the next step of my little deep worker style submarine is ballast tanks. MBTs, main ballast tanks. So I'm going to have three tanks on this. I'm using two 100 pound propane tanks. One here, one here, and then I'm putting a tank on top of the leg tube. And I think that'll be very important for stability well, surf well, transitioning from sub surfaced to submerged. So the first thing I gotta do is cut open these tanks, these 100 pound propane tanks, vent them out, and uh, make them so they don't stink, and then make brackets, mount them to the south. So let's get going. Okay, so I'm making brackets now to mount the tanks to the sphere, the occupant sphere of the sub. So I made this cardboard template. So all I'm doing is I'm cutting out these pieces with my zip cut. Doesn't take very long. So this is one of the propane tanks I'm gonna use as a ballast tank. So I've got it filled with water, so now I'm just going to cut the top open. It'll probably pop. So I have the first ballast tank in place. That's where it's going to go. I've got the sub leveled up, and now I've got the tank level leveled up. So now I'm just going to finish fabricating the brackets, grind everything, and then weld them on. And they'll be bolted on. So far so good. So I've got that sitting just right. I don't even want to breathe on it, it's so perfect. So all I'm gonna do is tack weld these on. So this is two plates bolted together. One welds to this and one welds to that. Beauty. Perfect. Now we'll grind the back and tack those on. Okay, so they're all tacked in place. Now I'm going to weld it up. Okay, so the first tank is on. It's nice and solid and it's nice and level. So I made the tank level with the, with the ring here. So now I just gotta make a cap for where I cut out that valve stem. And I gotta weld in a fitting here to screw in a solenoid valve. I'm gonna vent them with electric solenoid valves. It's a freshwater submarine, so those valves work fine in fresh water, no problem. Both tanks are now fitted to the sphere here. Brackets are on and welded. The next step is locating where these guys go. That's a weld-in fitting. That's where the solenoid valve will vent the air. This one here is another fitting that will be welded in. And that's where the air comes from the sphere to the ballast tank to blow the water out. Plus, I have to install a short piece of pipe on the bottom of this tank to act as a uh, downspout and that's to prevent the air from just burping out while you're transiting. Now you'll notice I've cut the end off of this tank. That's because these tanks are too heavy. Because I have a top heavy submarine I need these to be very light. So to compensate for the weight of these tanks I'm putting four trawl floats inside. These trawl floats just barely fit, so they're actually tight in there, which is good because they won't be flopping around. So the idea is the four floats, 18 pounds a piece buoyancy, will make these tanks quite neutral. Not, at all, not completely neutral, but very close to neutral. That is perfect because, again, the top is heavy and adding weight here is bad. So now I'll install those balls I'll install those trawl floats and weld the end cap back on. I won't weld that on until all the rest of the welding is done so I don't damage the floats that are inside.
Okay, so I cut a hole here and I cut a hole here. And now I can weld in these bungs. Okay, so you see I have the downspout welded on. I have the fittings welded on. Now I'm just going to put in the floats. Okay. I had to weld this little stud on so that I can move this into the right spot. Okay, now I can weld it up. Okay, you can see I've been busy painting. I painted the ballast tanks, I painted the submarine. I was just getting sick of looking at it. It was so ugly. So now I have installed the air pressure tank. So this is the high pressure air tank. It's mounted to the sphere. It has to be mounted to the sphere because the chassis is jettisoning and there's a fixed line that goes from the high pressure tank to the sphere to supply air for the ballast tanks. So that was no problem. It just needs a couple of clamps here and it's all done. The next thing I did, there's gonna be two of these tanks, one on each side. These are forward ballast tanks. The way they work, solenoid valve on top right here and an air injection line right here. So when you wanna surface, you put air into the tank right here and then this tank will actually raise as soon as it becomes buoyant and it'll raise right up to where you actually want it. You push all the water out with air, now you've got 75 pounds buoyancy on this side, 75 pounds buoyancy on the other side. But if you're on the bottom of the lake, you don't want this tank here because it obstructs your view too much. So the beauty of this is when you let the air out, gravity takes over and it just sinks back completely out of sight. It's a great idea. I love it. So now we're moving on to the next stage, which is mock up another one of these for the test pool and then start mounting the thrusters and whatnot on the chassis. So stay tuned. Ciao.